everyone in the off-road business is talking about the versatility of side-by-side -side vehicles. On this week's episode of Dirt Tracks, we're going to take you somewhere in the new Razor 570 from Polaris you may not have been before in a side-by-side -side vehicle. We're going to drive on tight and twisty ATV trails. Okay, here's the straight goods on the current crop of performance side-by-sides. They're a blast to ride in wide open spaces or on abandoned roads, but not so much on ATV trails. Here's what the new Razor 570 has shown us more graphically than any other pure sport side-by-side -side has to date. It can be right at home railing tight trails, usually reserved for inherently narrow ATVs. The reason the new 570 is able to navigate ATV trails lies right between the wheels. It's just 50 inches wide. Frankly, I'm getting a little tired of the current crop of pulse-pounding, hyper-powerful pure sport side-by-sides like the Razor 900 XP and the all-new Arctic Cat Wildcat. Okay, it'd be hard to get tired of the kind of power and suspension that those new pure sport side-by-sides produce, but I'll tell you what, it can get frustrating. Riding those pure sports on tight, twisty trails is a real handful. There's more to the 570's prowess on tight trails than just its narrow stance. There's an all-new rear suspension, revised motor placement, and maybe most importantly, a seamless linear band of torque extruding from the all-new ProStar 570 four-valve single overhead cam mill out back. It would be completely accurate to say the new 570 is actually the third Razor iteration as a result of its unique rear suspension. Polaris has taken the best engineering tricks from both the Razor 900 XP, namely its engine placement, and from the Razor 800, its double A-arm rear suspension. Clearly, the future for the Razor platform is the fore-aft engine placement. However, this double A-arm setup on the 570 is unique and offers great ride and suspension quality in a 50-inch stance. So what's the big deal with the new 570? Why are we so taken with this new ride? It's pretty simple, really. We've never had this much fun driving a side-by-side. -side. We're not kidding. The 50-inch stance, combined with tugboat torque from the single-cylinder ProStar, makes navigating ATV trails, formerly the exclusive domain of four-wheelers, so much fun, we can almost leave our sport utility 4x4s back at the ranch. OK, I know what you're thinking. That plain Jane Razor 570 with ugly steel wheels is gonna outrun my Sportsman 550? Go ahead, keep thinking that, because it's exactly what we had to come to grips with after we railed this thing on trails we had never ridden a side-by-side -side before. For sure, a good four-wheeler is always gonna win a run through the trees. However, this thought might boggle your mind. The 570 Razor is actually faster in the woods than either the 900 XP or the Wildcat. Why? because it fits precisely in the two-track carved out by four-wheelers. Wider, more powerful pure sport side-by-sides get pitched back and forth by deep, narrow two-track and are difficult to keep straight on tight trails. While the Razor 570 is a performance hit, we would like to see some nicer wheels with a little more bling. However, everyone around the Dirt Tracks offices agrees we would not trade these ugly steel wheels for pretty ones if they widened out this capable shredder's stance. From the front end, the 570 is pure razor with its familiar and proven double A-arm IFS. Look closely at the rear and you'll notice there's double A-arms, but not the least bit similar to those used on the 800 razor. This all new rear IRS is built for a 50 inch stance and provides excellent ground clearance and plush bump compliance. There's a full on anti-sway bar here as well. We need to make this clear. The newest ProStar engine from Polaris can perform at a level far above its 570cc displacement. In fact, the 570 can actually outperform the 800 twin in certain situations. In corner-to-corner -corner pulls, the torquey nature of the 570 will leave the 800 twin behind. The new Razor 570 won't knock your eyes out like the XP900. So what? There's a bigger market for a side-by-side -side that's this capable on trails trails previously reserved only for ATVs. The safety afforded by a side-by-side -side and the opportunity for people who might not be comfortable on a four-wheeler to access the same great trails and experience God's creation in a way no side-by-side -side has previously been capable of seems mighty attractive to me. 
You've got to wonder how these guys at Polaris keep knocking the ball out of the park in the side-by-side -side business. This latest Razor variant offers trail-friendly, safe, high-performance side-by-side riding to a whole new group of potential buyers. Take our advice if you're thinking like we did, that a side-by-side -side might limit your trail fun or your trail access. Let the Razor 570 prove you wrong.